we're here in East Dundee, Illinois, and it's time to paint yet another mural. I am super excited for this project because I get to paint wildlife, one of my favorite things to paint. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Well, as of right now, we are wrapping the lift in plastic, which is a first because it is a rental and we cannot get any paint on it and so that's what we got going as of right now you know it's very hard to keep paint out of places so good luck for us day one we got it all primed and hopefully it doesn't rain for projecting tonight that is a big concern of ours but if all goes according to plan we actually start getting to put some color on that wall tomorrow excited well starting back at day two time to get some color on that wall the very first step was to do the background and how I did that is I wanted to block in all the main chunks of color so I would put in my blue for the sky my top blue for the uh, water my bottom blue for the water and then my bottom yellow for the bottom of the river and then after that I would take all those shades and I would kind of blend them together almost bringing in different hues for the yellow I would incorporate some browns some greens and then for the water, I'd put some darker hues in there as well and some touches of lighter and darker. Um, after I had completed all of that, I decided to go in with the trees next. And this one I'd become wise to because I had already done the trees in a previous mural and it took me a very, very long time to figure out how to do them. How you actually have to do them is start with the shade that is darker than what you want the trees to end up so that you don't have to paint those shadows in later and you could just go in with the highlights. This made it so much faster and I can't believe that I got that all finished in one day, but here we are. to do the ducks so I think that I'll paint those about the same way that I painted the trees I will paint it a darker color and then go in with the feathers that are a lighter shade so that hopefully I can get those all blocked in today that's all <laughs> Thank you. 
the ducks. It's been a nice productive day. The weather was beautiful. I really want to do the ducks first instead of doing the seaweed and the fish and saving the ducks is kind of the last piece to bring this whole mural together. As a bystander that would have been really fun to see. But it's going to rain probably overnight and I really don't want to have to use the lift very much tomorrow because the mud on the ground and it leaves these huge ruts and so hopefully I'll also have a super productive day tomorrow after the rain goes through and I think the ducks turned out really cute. that I did accomplish today was doing the gravestones that are going to be in the bottom of the river in the image. How I shaded the gravestones is I start with my neutral color. I decided to go with the same exact color I used for the sky. I thought it was a good gray blue and it would really show that it's in the water. And so I start with my medium tone and I shade with my lighter and my darker tones. And then I kind of put what I think words sort of look like. I don't know. It's just a lot of painting a little bit and then stepping back and seeing how it looks in the grand scheme of things. We also put the base layer for all the seaweed in today and so hopefully tomorrow I can really get on those all those different colors and everything like that. So some things that I learned today is that I'm not super great at shading fish so I'm planning on just sleeping on it and then coming back tomorrow with a game plan after I stare at a picture of the fish for a very long time. It's a tough job, it's painting. Well, all my skin is sunburnt, my hands are cracking, but it's time to finish this mural. fish in specific gave me a really hard time. I really had to figure out how to do all these scales here. Um, it took a lot of renditions, like two, but good more than one. I'll be finishing today. It's called a Blandings turtle. And it has that that classic yellow belly. Um,
today we only did just a little bit of painting but it made a huge difference to the overall concept of this mural. I added that turtle that you can see behind me to it as well and I filled in some more seaweed and I think it's completely finished. Oh, I almost forgot to add that we did end up putting some freshwater mussels in it per the request of the Arts Council. Um, yeah. We're done. Nice. Yes, we're very excited about the final product. It looks exactly what she uh, presented to us in our RFP process. Um, the colors are amazing. It's a good reflection of our Fox, Fox River um, and the animals that's in the area. Love the bright colors. Love how it just pops. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's a very good reflection of East Sandy. Peace. Welcome to my party, we're just getting started A life is a dream 